We can now manage it by man clicking this button, manage. So as you can see, we already have it. Oh my God. Do you want to learn how to manage your Zoho One application? Well, in these tutorials, we're going to show you exactly how you can do that and the most important ways to go about managing it. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how you can add more applications to your Zoho One users and make sure they have access to all the tools they need. So let's log in and get started. All right, so now that we're logged in, let's go over here to the settings tab, just like we were doing before. And we're gonna go over to the applications over here. So we'll see applications. And this is where we can add new applications to our account. So the thing with Zoho One is if it's not already added, you actually have to go in and add it yourself. So let's say that you want to use something like Zoho Commerce. You'd have to come in here, you'd have to go over and add in the application. So let's look up and see if we can find it. So Zoho Commerce isn't actually added to our account yet because if we go over here, we have the option to add it. So that means any application over here that says add, we do not have associated with our account. So as you can see, there's quite a few applications that we can still add to our account. So in this case, let's go ahead and add commerce because maybe we have an e-commerce website and we wanna add that to our account. So we're gonna add, it's gonna go ahead and create that account for us. So as you can see, Zoho Commerce has been added to our account successfully. We can now manage it by clicking this button, manage application. We can also just hit okay and go back to our previous tab, or we can add users to it right away. So for example, maybe we want to manage the application. Let's just click on that quickly. That gives us this option over here. Now, we kind of saw this before in the other users section. So under the users, it looks very similar when you click on this. This pop out from the right comes out and you can see all the applications that they're added to. Now, the flip side of it is if we go to the applications, if we go to commerce over here, we can see what users are added to it. So it's the exact same view. It gives us basically the same detail because we have the option to edit this application. Maybe we want to change the name. We want to copy the app link. Maybe we want to change the owner or hide any of this information. Now we can see who is associated with it right now. Right now we're filtering on active users who are associated with this application. So we can also filter users by all inactive or any. So we can go on that, we can click on this individual. This brings us back to that users page. But if we go back to the application, go to commerce, we also have conditional assignments. Conditional assignments allow us to automatically add an application to a user's profile. So let's say I am part of the support team. Anyone who is under that support team, if let's say we are a applying Zoho Desk and we're creating that, we're adding that to our account, anyone under the support department will get automatically added to that application. So that's pretty cool. So in choosing conditional assignments, if we click get started, we have the option to choose a group. So we could say if we had a group in here, we could choose the support department, we can choose an individual level, or we could go through everyone. So if you wanted to, you could apply condition to existing users. You could overwrite the roles assigned manually to users going through this, or you could apply the rule to all members or users matching a specific criteria. Now you can also apply this rule to auto assign based off of different criteria. So if you wanted maybe someone specific with their first name, their last name, you could use any of these items, maybe who they report to. If they report to Casey, I want them to be assigned to this application as well. So there are various different ways to assign applications. So make sure you go ahead and learn all about it because it will be super helpful in the end. Now, once you have all the applications, you don't have to do this anymore. There are only around 40 applications, so you don't have to do it a short amount of time. But when you do add in new users, you can have this stuff automatically assigned. So it's probably more important when you actually add users to your account so that they can get assigned to all the applications they need to be assigned to right away. And you can do this by using groups as well. So that's it for adding applications to your account and how you add applications to your users as well. So as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel below. We wanna make sure this content gets out to everyone who needs to be able to see it. Please continue to like and comment on our videos. It really helps us reach new audiences and new people like yourself who are needing this information. As always, feel free to join us on our other social channels like Instagram and Facebook. We're building an awesome community and we can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.